everybody. It's Michelle. This is going to be a video for Mrs. Volfi. She was asking about some pot holders that I make when I mentioned it on one of her videos. And you basically just use a weaving loom. And I got this one at Walmart and it is plastic. And this thing is about very flimsy. So I hardly ever use this loom. It's my backup, or if I want to teach the grandkids how to actually use this. The other ones that I have, I found at a yard sale for 50 cents for two of them. And it is nice metal, nice metal hook. I know it's probably hard to see against the red background there. But it's these little teeth actually hook outwards to help hold them on. And making these is very easy. The directions are on the back of the box. All you need are the loops. And I bought these on Amazon, the weaving loops. I always get the cotton. Do not ever get the nylon because when you're making pot holders, the nylon will burn and they will not last. But these cotton ones last forever. Or if you know anybody in the sock industry, you can get what's called loopers. And this is just the tops of the socks. When they finish them off and they cut these off. And they do kind of shed, but that's okay. To do this, you basically just take your loops and you put them on. And you go all the way across to go all the way. Then you start using your hook and you go just simply do your over under maneuvers here on every other one and sometimes they like to get all cockeyed in there and you really got to look which is why I actually prefer to use two different colors or more and then you just start and you weave it through and you just put it on there and then for the next one you do the exact opposite and as you can see I've already made a mistake here and that's easy enough to fix since I'm just starting it And wow, I have really messed it up already. <laughs> this is why I always use two different colors. So I can see what I'm doing. Because the first one I always manage to mess up when it's the same color. And yes, they do like to pop off. But that's real life, folks. So, you know... And then you just do it opposite. And weave it through. And put it on. And then after you get several done, to finish it, you pick a corner. And I'm just going to start here. Because I'm not going to actually use this one. And you just start hooking them. You take the first one. And just like crocheting or doing a chain stitch, you're just basically taking it and chaining it. And then when you get to the end, you're going to have a nice neat little end where you can tie a knot so it doesn't unravel. This one I have had... I know for a good 15 years and it is stained up I have used it over and over throw it on the counter set pots on it I use it in the oven and these things last forever my mom has some that I made her when I was a child and I am 45 now if that tells you anything so they're pretty easy to make they're fun they're quick and 
You can teach your kids to do it. People love these. I've actually sold them. I've had requests from people that are building houses to make them for them as like a housewarming gift. You can do all sorts of colors. The, um, I mix them up unless somebody wants a specific color. And that's basically all there is to it. It's very easy, very simple, fun, quick, easy. And you've got something that's going to last you forever and that you can use over and over and over. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.